Hi, it's Christy, and I'm here with another Operation Christmas Child shoebox. I am going to be opening a shoebox for a boy, age 10 to 14. It's like a, an outdoor theme. Here's my list that I always use to keep track of what's in the box. The only thing I'm missing is my note, which I will put in uh, at the end toward collection time. So let's open it and see what you think. It closed pretty easily. These rubber bands aren't real, real strong, so it looked like it was bulging, but it's not really. All right, so I guess right away you can see the red bandana, which is a lot of bandanas are going in my boxes this year. Hmm. I was able to get a lot at Hobby Lobby. And here, have you seen these? These are itty bitties that Hallmark carries, a lot of Marvel characters. Um, I love his hair and his cape, I think. Um, one of the things I love about these itty bitties is they fit so well in a box because they're small. You can see the size of my hand. So this one had a, a large item in it and this little guy was perfect. He has beans in here um, and he's just really soft and fun. So he is in the top of the box here. This is for a narrow neck water bottle. I got some of these brushes from Amazon, the smaller brushes to use to clean it. It's a shorter water bottle. These are just a little pair of underwear, a toothbrush with a cover. These are pencils. A little tip for pencils is I sharpen them before I put them in. Um, it makes it a lot easier on the child that receives the pencils because just starting with a manual pencil sharpener from scratch when it's just a flat end on the pencils, it's a lot harder. This is a ruler. Make sure I get all the school supplies in. This is a fun dinosaur print. And these were at uh, Wall Walmart for a dollar, so these were really a bargain. And it's fun to have a slap bracelet style. Okay, here's his little colored pencils. And let's see, this is a great item to stick in those nooks and crannies that are left open, a Hot Wheel car. And here's another one. Red and green Hot Wheel cars. And this is great for the outdoors. It's a fishing kit with the line and the weights everything in here this is there's a tutorial on blessings in a shoebox.com for these michelle figured out a way just using these insulated uh can holders to make these um with just a very little sewing and that's a shrinky dink how cute is that and this is a pair, deck of cards for fun you can play cards anywhere with one person or with a lot of people and you can also learn some math skills with cards. There's a whole roll of string. I could put something in that hole. I'm going to do that when I fill it back up. Here's a calculator, solar calculator. Let's see, here's the... This is just an extra clip I thought he might be able to use. And there's a lot of things in his water bottle. It's a narrow neck with a filter. It's supposed to filter like a thousand gallons of water or something. And um, there are, oh, well, this is a pen with a world on the top. I love that. This is his lip balm, two pieces of chalk to use for the front of that notebook, a string for a whistle that's in there, a Sharpie, a big pink eraser, some uh, pens, black, red, and blue paper clips, highlighters. I think that's it in the water bottle. Here's the eraser for that chalkboard. And in the duct tape, I was able to squeeze a Hero Hacky Sack and a little set of marbles um, and some erasers, three colorful erasers, and the whistle that goes on the string that's in the water bottle. And this is red duct tape that can come in handy. 
There's a pencil sharpener, and inside the pencil sharpener lid are three dinosaurs. That's a nice surprise. You can put other things in there, but a lot of boys like dinosaurs, and I had those on hand, so I put those in for him. And here's a big red carabiner and another one of those green clips. Here's his soap and a soap container. And inside is a nice nail clipper and a nail file. So let me put that here. This is a harmonica with a nice cloth. I thought that would be fun for a boy to have. I love music. Our family is musical, so I'm including a lot of um, harmonicas in the boxes that I'm making. Oh, here's his comb, green comb. And well, here's the, I got him a book of mazes, really um, very, very detailed mazes. Hopefully he likes mazes. And um, th these you can find at the Dollar General. No, not Dollar General, um, Dollar Tree. And then here's the notebook. The contact paper on the front is chalkboard contact paper. And inside are dinosaur stickers. Mm. This is a solar lantern. It's red. And this, the light bulb inside is an LED light that's supposed to last something like 10,000 hours. It's incredible. So that won't need replacing for a while and you can just charge it right here. I decided to leave it in the box because it has the directions. My husband told me there's an app on a phone that can translate um, writing. So if they don't understand it, they could possibly use that if they have. Usually there's at least one phone in the village. I've heard missionaries tell me that. And then this is a hook. They can hang it up. And then so we, are, we assume that the children that will get these boxes don't have electricity, but some of them do. And there's a cord here also that he could use if he does have electricity. So I just decided to Go ahead and put it in the box. He may just choose to keep it in the box when he's not using it. But my goal was to get something for him to be able to do homework at night to help him with his education. So that's the goal with that lantern. This is his pencil pouch. Oh, this is a magnifying glass that's in here, which is fun to look at bugs and plants with a magnifying glass and his washcloth. So I'll put these here. I want to put this in here so you can get a look at it for the final picture in your mind of what I included. The um, box is really full, but I think, um, I would, again, you know, you always think there's one more thing you would like to include and I wish I would have been able to fit a backpack in here for him. But I think he'll be happy with what he receives. It's a lot of a combination of fun and useful items. And I think that most of the items here are made to really last a while. They're not, you know, one and done items or throwaway items. I haven't included a lot of trash. So I think this will be a box that a boy will really love and appreciate the things in it. And I will be praying for him to know the Lord Jesus Christ as his Savior because all of these children will receive um, the truth of the, or the message of the gospel when they're uh, receiving their shoeboxes and they'll have an opportunity also to go to a discipleship class afterward. So I will be praying for all my children to have um, take advantage of that opportunity and to be already preparing their hearts for what they will hear at the classes. So I pray that, um, I hope that you'll pray with me
for your boxes and for all the other boxes that will be turned in. Thank you for watching. God bless and bye for now.